Hell! The battle between heaven and hell has waged eternal. I'm not sure if there's a worse way to start your movie than with narration and a fake bird. All the Dark Lord needs now is a great soldier. Just one great soldier. It's like the bad news bears for demons. Sure, everyone on the team sucks, but if you can get one person on that team that's good, it will turn them into a force. Just ask the Los Angeles Angels. You know, the one located in Genericsville on Main Street close to the unspecific ocean. Also, this is supposedly a military airbase in Hong Kong, but this is clearly a small commercial jet being operated by American Eagle, which is a subsidiary of American Airlines. Also, American Airlines. This guy leads with a kick, then proceeds to blow away the entire control room in a hail of bullets and editing. I would have led with the gun, but when will you ever get to use that sweet move again, right? How is the airport not on super lockdown after all the machine gun fire in the tower? Why are they deplaning anyone right now? Pretty effective missile, I will admit. But is there any reason you had to ninja break into air traffic control and fire the missile from there? I get that there was proximity and a height advantage in shooting from here, but you had night vision and Xbox controller gadget things, and you're in Hong Kong, the city with the most skyscrapers per square mile than any other on Earth. You couldn't find an easier place to fire this missile from? <laughs> Brought to you by the studio that would somehow be able to fund a whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. This movie goes the ultra cheap route and doesn't even bother to blow up a real airplane. Fire effects borrowed from Mortal Kombat are borrowed. What do you call it when something that's cheesy and lame thinks it's actually edgy as f**k and ultra cool? Oh yeah, introduction to After Effects. It's always a welcome sight when the actor playing the title character isn't the first name you see. And it's an even better sight when that first actor's name is John Leguizamo. Yep, THE Martin Sheen, because despite his established greatness, he was still several months shy of being offered the West Wing and everyone's got bills, yo. Also, the Fire Tornado metal opening credits of Hate made me throw up three times. But also is the new name of my band, so... This entire credit sequence, music and all, is like reliving the 90s all over again. This is what Bill Clinton dreams, but Dust Brothers masturbate to this credit sequence. No, not together. That would be the Chemical Brothers. It's like this movie saw the opening credits for Seven two years earlier and decided to go for the middle school version of that. Also, holy balls, 7% of this entire movie is this long opening fire tornado credits. Hey, f*** you, Mark A dot Z dot Dippe. Not for the movie, but for having two middle initials. The hell is that about, dog? Simmons is not the problem. I don't doubt that desperate men would do anything to attain wealth and power and would sell their souls for it. I just don't think they'd believe a cigarette-smoking clown demon could provide it. Where the hell is the ultimate weapon you promised us? They tried to 60 minutes shadow this guy, but it's clearly a member of the insane clown posse. Also, why is this asshole in shadows? How do you properly light a room so that Satan's henchmen can be properly cloaked during a conversation? What's the point anyway? And when the big pinata breaks, you'll get it all. I guess they asked John Leguizamo to do his best Penguin from Batman Returns voice, or else this is just highway robbery here. P.S. There's one more item on our to-do list. We need you to help recruit a very special soldier for us. Your all-time favorite killer, Al Simmons. Weren't you just talking about this guy earlier? Why not bring this up then? You might be wondering why does it matter, but they spent this whole scene talking about building a weapon that Martin Sheen already knew he had to build. And this is a P.S. Why do you want him? Why do you people always question why ask why? But how is so much more fun. Okay, so how do you want it? Not seeing how that's funnier. And it's actually less likely to get me the answer I was looking for with the original question, you dick. This headline should read, USA Today completely abuses the increase kerning function on this double-decker front page headline. Also, why capitalize all the words in this headline except blow up? Also, also, again, I remind you, that was an American Eagle jet, not a British airliner. But whatever, USA Today. Everyone knows your reputation's been shot since that youth jailed erroneous headline bullshit and Back to the Future 2. Also times three. Under this white dude's picture, there's a caption about Michael Jordan. And under this white woman's picture, there's a caption about Will Smith. So maybe Get Out happened earlier than we thought. This magic f***er's been lurking around for a while now. Though this is the first time he's glowed bright green. But my point is, f*** this guy. The airport kill zone was supposed to be clear of civilians. I know he just got news about the civilians and he's mad about it, but didn't he see the civilians with his high-tech headgear earlier? Or does his headgear only detect bad guys? This she's got a gun in her underwear shot is all about titillating you and has nothing to do with the story that sees this guy soon becoming an all-powerful hell agent. What the f*** is this? Why does he have an ashtray in his pet scorpion bowl? It's like, how can we make the Martin Sheen character seem more evil? I know, let's show that he has pet scorpions and he puts out cigarettes in an ashtray located inside the bowl. This guy gives Zero f**ks about scorpion stings and lung cancer. Casual tarantula fun. Come on, son, this is top priority. A little on the nose, but honestly, I'd rather watch more on the nose scorpion attack imagery than most of the plot I've seen of this thing so far. You know what would've been awesome? Seeing how Simmons all by himself infiltrated this top secret North Korean weapons facility without anyone seeing him. See you in hell, Al. I really don't think there was enough time for President Bartlett and Julie Cooper Nickel to get off the boat. They just casually walked out while the damn thing exploded. And it's not like they had Wonder Woman's invisible jet waiting to take them out of here before this place blew. Yeah, right. You know, for someone that was ambushed, burned to death, and woke up in the rainy worst part of the city from Blade Runner, this guy sure is kind of an asshole. He sets out to reclaim his humanity. Okay, sure. 
but he saw his reflection in the water. He knows his face looks like an avocado had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Doesn't he know his lady is not only not going to recognize him, but also <laughs> likely to call the cops and probably a priest? At least make the phone call the thing tries to make in Fantastic Four before scaring your kids and of course, f***ing Toto can still smell his old master. Years later, and through the layer of burned, reincarnated skin. All right, kids, I got more tricks than your local hooker. So, how did Wanda and Terry end up hiring the clown that makes hooker jokes, drinks, smokes, and has jagged teeth for this birthday party? Are they blinded to this because of some sort of spell or something? No, no, what? Oops. A wet one. Imagine being the guy that did the CGI on the fart for this scene. Like, would you ever even tell anyone? Also, this fart reminds me, since we'll never send this same year's John Leguizamo classic, The Pest, can I just go ahead and transfer 50 sins from that movie to this scene right here? It's a bit of a complicated sin retirement account math, and it's rarely invoked, but I feel like this scene deserves it. Look at that. Skid marks. Sometimes sin retirement accounts compound interest daily, and that's why this is getting an additional 155 cents. I'm going to add 478 more for the visuals, and 1,763 more sins for this movie being a dick. Good God, if I were Satan, I would be embarrassed at this CGI hellscape he calls home. Call a f***ing decorator, or Stan Winston, and get this cleaned up. If you see my army, you can see Wanda again. So in this flashback, Al is reminded of his deal with Malbolgia. But why does this process make him forget that in the first place? Is it so Violator has something to do? It's hard to believe that Hell in over millions of years hasn't perfected this yet. Yes, I will lead your army! Anything for Wanda! You might even say, for Wanda forever! Avenge your murder. Kill Jason Wynn. Wait, Wynn only killed him because the clown told him to. And the clown works for you. And your first command is to have him kill Wynn? You could have had Wynn killed in any number of other ways. Just think of me as your guardian angel. As long as we don't have to think of you as Luigi ever, ever again. He died a patriot. Do you want to know what year he died? F you. Because, of course, there's a small group of poser Satanists doing some rituals here tonight, as I'm sure there are in every cemetery around the world every night. <laughs> What? What is this? I've got to know, I've got to know, what is this place that I have found? What is this? I dubbed the... Spawn! Roll credits. Dead people can still die, Schmecky. All I gotta do is cut off your head. What do you call it when the fart clown spits out the rules of the film's universe instead of normal dialogue? Clown's position? John Leguizamo's position? So, is this locket with Wanda's picture supposed to give him some sort of extra motivation or power? It's literally the only reason why he dug up his own grave. So my answer would be yes, even though I don't understand why he needs it, and it's stupid as shit. I mean, even Tron is pissed off at these special effects. This freak stuff's gonna come in handy when I get my hands on win. Glad you could remind yourself and us of that fact. My IQ dropped about 100 points after just 30 minutes of this movie, so I did not understand that until you said so. I am Cagliostro. That's all you need to know. For now. It would be devastating to the movie's runtime if I told you anything more. He pushes this guy to the left, then goes around him on the right, only to turn left. Why not just not push the guy at all and go left? Sometimes putting words on your screen to tell us where we are is actually more confusing than saying nothing. That North Korean biochemical operation really paid off. That one from five years ago? That just happens to coincide with our hero's murder? Weird that you're expositing about that just after he's come back to Earth from Hell to kill you. Did the screenwriter give you a heads up? Now we have weapons in place to disperse Heat 16 over half of this godforsaken globe. So why does your virus simulation show the entire world being infected? If this simulation is accurate, you better be in some sort of underground bunker when this shit hits. Flappy cape jump, then dragging two victims. Victims. This movie spent so much on terrible bright green fart CGI, it couldn't afford to film actual action scenes that might have been fun to watch. Also, the clown left and said he'd return when Spawn's armor had hardened. So, he immediately attacks a place? With soft armor? Little girl just had a birthday, didn't she? Is terrible facial hair part of the uniform for this place? Sheen looks like he's auditioning for Wes Bentley's Hunger Games role, and DB's goatee is getting harassing phone calls from a dozen better film goatees. This is the headquarters of the elite military outfit he used to work for, and that had him killed, and you're telling me he scaled the building a few stories to this point, and no one saw him or stopped him? What year was it? Cameras exist in this universe, right? How much did these spawn cape CGI transitions cost you? How much better would this movie be if you'd spent all that money on hiring a better writer? You. You. Also, no one is shooting his ass yet. You sent me to hell, Jason! Movie subliminally advertises Jason Goes to Hell four years after it came out. I'm here to return the favor! No one is still shooting his ass yet. Do you know about Cyan? The greenish-bluish color? Yes, I'm aware of it. Do you know about Magenta? She shoots guns at the dead guy from hell, and he runs to hide from them. Even though I don't think bullets will matter much in the battle Spawn has ahead of him. Didn't the clown tell him that he could only die by getting his head chopped off? That thing is Simmons! I want you to nail him now! 
good is f***ing him gonna do? I mean, unless you have that vagina dentata thing. Oh, you meant kill him. Luckily, I wore my biting skull belt, which specifically protects me from getting kicked in the balls. You know, I could have used a belt like this during 6th through 11th grade. Where you're going, every day is Halloween. New York City Fashion Week? You don't have the guts. What? What is it about Al's character that makes you think he doesn't have the guts to kill people? Dude is known for killing fools. So congrats on your first mission. Wasn't his mission to kill Jason Wynn? I'd say he totally failed that mission. My favorite part about the wrong dead guy turned hell warrior superhero movie is the scene where he done all the shooting with the machine guns in both hands. That's exactly how I would have pictured hell demons fighting, actually. So Spawn disappears in an act of self-preservation that he doesn't even appear to control. But then he reappears in the same spot for absolutely no reason, heaping piles of bullshit on the audience. This is like that Daniel Craig weapon in Cowboys and Aliens. I mean, f***ing magnets, man. Now that he's on the run from all the bullets, where the f*** is that f***ing goddamn magical cloak? Even as a reflex, it should be working. No one will be seated during the exciting cops fruitlessly shoot at Spawn while he slowly walks on the ledge scene. Even as someone who was just demanding more cloak action, what the f*** was that? I don't care what kind of intricate labyrinth the paramedics and firefighters have created with their cars, there cannot be a private place for the Violator and Jason to have a conversation here. Not only is she his ex-girlfriend, she's also actively reporting and lecturing on the chemical abuses that occurred because he went on that mission that killed him. Coincidences this strong only happen in comics and comic-based movies. Thought I was getting rid of the world's vermin, and I turned out to be one of them. Introspection! Soliloquy! Excitement? She brought her daughter, and her dog, and the dog's tennis ball to her super important lecture? Movies should never have time for this. I put you on Earth to make sure Spawn keeps his end of the bargain. Really? Wasn't he on Earth giving orders to Win way before Spawn was even Spawn? Spawn must oh. choose to murder Win and release the virus. Then my army will be complete. True or false? Did you or did you not overly complicate this f***ing plan, man? Holmes pass. Dog kicking. Spaz! Honey, he knows the way back home better than we do. Totally. So, f*** Spaz. Why spend one second looking for him when he can walk home? What's the worst that can happen? Spawn's decision to go back to the alley he arrived in coincides perfectly with this hateful homeless guy beating the kid that one time offered Spawn a soda. Man, I love circular storytelling. It's the best. Man, I love circular storytelling. It's the best. That's Spaz. <laughs> Best. Ah, another hero has a heart of gold cliche, even though this hero is a hell demon with almost no redeeming qualities. As per your orders, Director Wen, if your vinyl signs flatline for any reason, the device will uplink and detonate the Heat-16 bombs. No one would dare kill you. So, how do you spread the word about that? Do you go on TV, explain your evil plan, and say, Don't kill me! My heart is hooked up to all the bombs! Or do people just know within five seconds of meeting you that you're probably the type of guy that hooks up detonators to his heart? <laughs> It's time. The lightning told me so. I'm gonna cut you into 50 pieces and mail you to every state. Oh no, the mailing is the worst part. Put down my dog. Movie inspires the entire John Wick franchise. If you were this powerful all along, why did you ever waste time on that clown bullshit? Dog kicking. Seriously, with a demon this powerful, why does Malbolgia even need Spawn to lead his army? Where is Cape? Really, Spawn movie? Jesus pose? Really? Really? I don't mean to invoke the pest more than it needs to be, but how did John Leguizamo survive in 1997 playing these two characters? This is some serious f*** you up for life type of to inhabit. You're spawn now, but that doesn't mean you have to be what they want. Something tells me you're about to dump some exposition you needed to dump half an hour ago. Al Simmons knew that violence only makes for more pain and suffering, no matter which side gives the orders. He tried to leave off killing, give himself a second chance. We saw none of these character traits in Al before he died. Sure, he was upset about killing the innocent civilians, but he didn't have any qualms about killing in general. Your old life is gone. Accept that. Things someone said to Martin Sheen to get him to sign on to this film somehow made it into the script. Spawn keeps his weapons cache in an easily accessible unlocked area where any homeless dude could find it and steal it. You've been using your armor only by reflex. You must learn to control it. If only I could have run into you sooner. We could have figured out this whole thing together. Oh, sh we did meet sooner. You said I was on a needed no basis. Go! Hero just begins to learn something, but becomes an instant expert in seconds cliché. Take care of your powers. When you drain them, you die. Won't be needing these. I know Discount Obi-Wan told Spawn that the guns were useless, but he didn't seem to learn anything about how he was going to win without killing people. He learned how to get horny, and he learned stuff about his chains, but that was about it. I love the smell of burning asphalt in the morning! That clown, he's so full of great pop culture references, including movies starring one of his co-stars. But over the years, how has this guy watched all these movies? Does he go to movie theaters or rent stuff at Blockbuster? 
Buster to pass the time when he's not middlemanning. He stands up from the crash of the spawn cycle to face the imminent attack of the clown truck, and I hate myself for typing any of that. Movie steals the Bruce Willis from Die Hard 2. Reading secure files. This 1997 computer is so helpful, giving him audio explanations of what's happening at all times. Hello, Cyan. Remember me? Man, f this movie. This motherfucker is the most annoying clown since Pennywise went through a slam poetry phase. What would happen if Violator just killed Jason right now? I realize that means that they've broken their bargain, but really, what are the consequences? I'd love for this movie to actually explain that. Either you join Hell's army or she dies. I thought he already agreed to join and lead Hell's army back when he first went undead. Did I misread that scene? See you in hell, Jason! Movie subliminally advertises Jason Goes to Hell four years after it came out. <laughs> what? I was counting on Spawn killing you, then you would get his soul and kickstart the apocalypse now. Or kickstart the West Wing. Or kickstart the Wall Street. Or kickstart the Badlands. Ah! Tagliastro! The f*** has this guy been doing this whole time? If he can help, then why hasn't he been helping? Movie combines darkness with horrible CGI and editing to give us this climactic battle. This is the kind of joyless sh that New Line cranked out back then. It's Mortal Kombat's fault for being halfway decent, but they churned out this stuff with no regret. It is physically painful to watch this f***ing movie. No one thought this was terrible enough to cut or improve before the movie came out. If you could quantify the amount of whatever this movie's manufactured, you could weaponize it and kill millions of people with indifference. I mean, Pit Fighter had better graphics than this sh it cannot be stressed enough. This is worth another 10,000 sins, I think. Well, apparently Spawn can do that. It's sort of an accidental ex machina. Oh, and he knows how to fly, too. He learned some real intricate shit in the last minute of this battle. <laughs> Cyan screams, but whatever she's screaming about doesn't appear until well after she yells, so that's kind of bullshit, right? In addition to naming your kid Cyan. Don't know why Violator is still alive, and don't care. There are entirely too many fireplace shenanigans taking place in this movie. I'm halfway expecting Sirius Black to show up and warn Harry about some danger for someone to use the flu network to go to the Quidditch Cup. For the past five years, I unwittingly participated in Jason Wynn's illegal manipulation of the A6. Dude, you need a f***ing lawyer right now. You don't start spilling all your sh in front of the house at a crime scene. Spawn has stopped Malbolgia's plans to destroy the Earth. Did this demon really depend on one asshole to carry out his plan? I thought a bunch of other people in the world were banking on selling their souls for wealth and power. But the only guy who could help him with his plan was Martin Sheen? You know her, you love her, you cannot live without her. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions while I had you here. I'm interested in selling my youngest daughter into slavery as sanctioned in Exodus 21-7. She's a Georgetown sophomore, speaks fluent Italian, always cleared the table when it was her turn. What would a good price for her be? Take out a spare ribs for one hundred dollars. It takes a steady hand because if you touch the side, <laughs> it's Saddam Hussein. Shoot him! <laughs> what a dumbass! Kiss it goodbye, clown. You're gonna die, clown! I have been falling for thirty minutes. You look like Freddy Krueger face the topographical map of Utah. We are Venom. This is even more painful than it looks. You see. You've been using your armor only by reflex. You must learn to control it. It has trillions of neural connections. Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. 